Okay, we are here tonight at the Old Chicago Pizza and Tap Room at Northgate Mall in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And tonight they are having Harry Potter trivia put on by the Chattanooga Trivia Group. And this place appears to be packed. Okay, so this place is completely packed. We ended up getting a table from some people who were waiting for some joiners and the joiners didn't come. They just gave it to us because we were standing near them for a while. That was very thoughtful of them. But look at this place. It is completely full. <laughs> Looks like the same trivia answer sheet for Harry Potter as regular Chattanooga trivia. Uh, but I am noticing it only has round one and two. No round three on the first side. And on the back side we've got round three and four and no round six so it's this harry potter thing is going to be a little shorter it looks like okay they have asked the first question and heather feels pretty confident about it so casey is running the answer in those people in the foreground there are the nice folks that let us have this table so yay for them okay they are so busy that my tall bud light came in two glasses because they're out of tall glasses. So, they're slammed. Look at this awesome looking pizza. Our Caesar salads came out after the pizza, but they do look really, really good, and I probably need to let my pizza cool down some anyway. How's your Caesar salad, Casey? You like it? Awesome. Look at this uh, pizza eating technique. Is it good? Awesome. Well, we're still waiting for question number two here at Old Chicago Pizza, Harry Potter, Chattanooga Trivia. She just announced that there are 50 teams here tonight. Normally when we play trivia, there's five, seven, maybe nine. Tonight, there are 50 teams playing this trivia game, 50. My second beer came out in a regular size glass. Okay, this is the line to turn in your answer at Trivia and Harry Potter night here at Old Chicago Tap Room. All right, check out this chocolate cake the girls are gonna split here at the Old Chicago Pizza and Tap Room in Hickson, Tennessee during Harry Potter trivia. The question before this was hard. There was no line. It took a long time for people to filter up, but this question was easy. So look, the line goes all the way from here, all the way to the far side of the bar, way over there. Long line, easy question. <laughs> this is the face of disappointment. I think I got it actually. Or the face of complete success. She has Googled her answer. I've got the YouTube video. And what is it? Are, are I don't you, know, I'm on an ad. She's watching. But I saw my name in. <laughs> I think it is my yeah, It's just a matter of getting the change here. We've got some answer Googlers here after our answer is turned in. She got it. She got it. 
what, what sucks is I did the least amount of points. Yeah. But I got it. Yay. Let's All go. Right. Woo -woo. Three. What? what was the first sentence Harry wrote in Tom Riddle's diary that is, my name is Harry Potter? <laughs> Hello, my name is Harry. Oh, let's, no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Yeah. 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 Ye
And you once again have four songs to turn your answer in, so make sure you use all that time because once you turn your answer in, you cannot have it back. So make sure you have a member of your team writing these down as I call them out. With the following Christmas and birthday presents Harry received in order of when they of when he received them in the books and or movies. Number one is the earliest, number four is the latest. It is a toothpick from the Dursleys. A broom compass from Ron. A Gryffindor lion sweater and nut brittle from Mrs. Weasley. And a pin knife from Sirius. So once again, guys, for the following Christmas and birthday presents Mary received in order of when he received them in the books and or movies. One is the earliest, number four is the latest. We are a toothpick from the Dursleys. A broom compass from Ron. Gryffindor lion sweater and nut brittle from Mrs. Weasley. And a pen knife from Sirius. I'm thinking zero. Okay, Heather is in 11th. Is that no, right? 19th, but it's Heather's only by in, 11 points. Sorry, Heather's in 19th, but she's 11 points out of the lead. These are the order of the things that they're supposed to place in order, and she has decided to wager zero. Now, if she has this order correct, then she could lose as much as 20 points, but she's hoping that with her being only 11 points back, that she can get a podium finish while wagering zero. So we'll see how that goes. Good luck, Miss Heather. I'm sorry, Casey and I were not more help. All right, okay. Casey, you can go. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I got it right. I actually got it right. Okay, so uh, now that we've turned in our answer, we can look stuff up on yonder internet, and Heather feels like that she got it right, and we have wagered zero. So we'll see if she's correct, and if that cost us 20 points and a podium finish. Okay, so we haven't heard the official answer listing yet. Heather thinks after doing some post answer turning in research that she has gotten it correct. Uh, I don't know if she has or not, but I'm being blamed for recommending that she wager zero. But I, I think if she thought that she had it, that she should have wagered 20. Apparently that's not what I said. And now my daughter is trying to steal the camera. He didn't recommend 20. He No, he didn't recommend zero. He pushed and forced zero. He's like, if you're not Oh, if she didn't know. If she knew it, I think she should have. I just assumed she wouldn't know it, I guess, maybe. It's your fault. It's always my fault. This is your fault. I mean, this. It, it, here's how it goes. If you are at fault, whether or not you're at fault, you're at fault. Just like we get, even though we got it right. Shushy, what if we miss it? We're, We're not going to miss it. She looked up the dates. Going once. Going to, why does it's my not eye my look fault. so You're the one that wrote zero on there. Why does my eye look so funny? Don't take it away. No, 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 no. Harry no, received in order, but when he received them in the books and more movies, one is the earliest, number four the latest. Number one is a toothpick from the Dursleys in book number two. 
number two is the Gryffindor Lions quarter, and Nut Turtle for Mrs. Weasley in book number three. Number three is a pen knife of Sirius in book number four. And number four is a Brew of Compass from Ron in book number five. And so with that, guys, your top three teams tonight, the third points with 64 points for the Goose. 64 points with third place. And second place with 67 points. We had 62 points. We won a first place with 70 points. Double doors We would have won. We would have won. We would have won. We would have won, Dad. I'm being told that I'm to blame for us. You are. <laughs> Well, I got it right, and he had me wager zero. I had her wager zero. You I did her. I had her wager zero because... You're losing points, man. You got it. Yes, get this documented. I need to I have been seasoned to within an inch from my life. All right, well, trivia here at Old Chicago Pizza and Tap House was fun, Harry Potter style. Uh, I don't think Heather will ever forgive me for recommending that she wager zero on the final question that she got right. However, if she had gotten it wrong, it would have saved her. So who knows, but that was fun, and we're going to do some more Chattanooga trivia tomorrow night at Mexi Wings. Mexiville, that's what I meant to say, in downtown Chattanooga. And we got seventh place. Seventh place out of 50 teams, and Heather did it all by herself. That's pretty awesome. Way to go, Heather. <laughs>